listening to the Award Travel 101 Podcast. Helping you learn how to maximize your travel rewards, no matter your destination or budget. Now, here's your host, Joseph Petrovic. Hey, everyone, and welcome to another session in Award Travel 101. My name is Joseph Petrovic, and I'm community manager here. Now, I wanted to go over a topic that came up in the group yesterday, and it's something that pops up every now and again, so I thought it'd be helpful to cover. So let's look at, should I buy hotel points? Now, I guess the question depends, how are you going to use them? Is there a promotion going on with the particular chain you're looking to stay? There are a lot of questions to answer, and basically this boils down to one big math question. Now, you'll hear us typically say, we do not recommend purchasing points. This is specific to speculatively purchasing points. You don't want to buy your points when you could earn them through credit card welcome offers and pay a lot less. If you're under a time constraint, though, maybe it makes sense. So let's look at the times when it may or may not make sense. Here's the post by Rosa Silo that brought this up. And she wondered, is there a marketplace to buy hotel points? I'm going to give an example here of a property my wife enjoys, and that's the Hilton Columbus at Easton. Now here's just a random day, and I picked this just to give an idea of what the cash cost versus the points cost would be in this particular situation. Now, each one of these is going to vary. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you know when it makes sense to do this. And again, it boils down to math. This particular property is regularly around 50,000 points per night. And the cash rates, you see here, a flexible rate is, 219 for non-members, but if you're a Hilton Honors member, they have a discounted rate of 204. Booking that is $239.70. $239.70 or 50,000 points. Now, which one makes more sense, using points or using cash? And if you were going to buy these, you have to know what it would cost to purchase. Now, there is a place where you can purchase points, and that is points.com. Points.com sells points for the following programs. You can see Aero Mexico Club Premier, Aeroplan, Alaska Miles, Asia Miles, Built Rewards, City Thank You Points, Finair, Etihad Guest, Frontier, Bonvoy, Cutter Privilege Club, Spirit, Virgin Flying Club, Mileage Plus, all of these places are, in, and Hilton Honors, of course, doesn't make sense. So let's go back to this. $239.70 for one night stay versus buying Hilton points. Now, right now, Hilton has a promotion through November 22nd where you can buy Hilton Honors points for half a cent each. You can see here that anytime you buy more than 5,000 points, you're getting a 100% bonus. That means Hilton Honors points normally are one cent a piece to purchase. But during this frequent promotion they offer, you're getting double the points. So for $250, you can buy uh, 25,000 Hilton Honors points and get a 25,000 point bonus, which means you're buying Hilton Honors points for half a cent each, or for every $250, you can buy 50,000 points. Now you wanna get $250 back, right? Well, I would argue that you'd wanna get a lot more than $250 back because with the promotion that Hilton offers, your points are probably worth less. Now, if you look at the Award Wallet article here, it says that Award Wallet members average 0.61 cents per uh, point in value. And I would argue that you would need to get at least that in order to make it worth buying points because of the frequent promotions that are associated with that. 
I'm going to share a link in the comments here that'll help everybody out that will tell you more about a current double points promotion. So if you're earning 10 points per dollar for every stay, you want to know that if that makes sense to compared to just buying the points. The thing with Hilton is, is that there are so many stackable promotions. You're not just earning 10 points per dollar, but if you apply for the promotion, you're earning double points, which means you're earning 20 points per dollar. If you have a Hilton Honors credit card, you can earn anywhere between seven and 14 points per dollar, depending on the particular card you have. The $95 surpass card gets you a 130,000 point welcome offer. And on top of that, you're earning 12 points per dollar at Hilton Properties. So now you add that to your 20 points per dollar you're getting and you have 32 points per dollar. But the Hilton Surpass card not only gives you those extra 12 points per dollar, but it also gives you gold status. So elite status helps you earn more points as you're staying bringing your total points earnings on this particular stay to 40 points per dollar on eligible spend. So what is eligible spend? And if we look at this, let's break it down here. You're looking at $239.70. Now, 204 means that you're going to earn the 10 plus 10 more for the double points promotion. You're gonna earn eight for having gold status and another 12 for having the card. So that's 40 points per dollar. Multiply that times 40 and you're earning over 8,000 points. On top of that, you're earning 12X on the taxes. So you're earning another 429 points. So all total, you're earning 8,500 Hilton Honors points. So you have to do the math on this. It's always a situation of, does the math make sense and what can get you the most value in return? So in the end, should you buy points? It comes down to basic math. If you're paying more for the points than the actual stay and you have no points left over, why would you buy the points? Double check, see what you're, you can earn with your credit cards, with your, your loyalty status, things that you can get from that credit card, and then make that purchase if you're earning more than 0.6 cents on Hilton. Again, every one of these is going to be slightly different and we we never advocate for you paying more. We we want to make sure you're you're getting the best value and sometimes that might mean that you're getting a better value if you buy the points. If you're looking at it and saying, "Hey, I'm buying these 50,000 points but those 50,000 points are covering a $1,000 hotel stay, great, buy it. But if it's not covering at least $600 in hotel stay, you're probably better off getting a card that is going to earn you some welcome offer. And on top of that, you're gonna earn multiple points with the card, you're gonna earn multiple points with status, you're gonna earn multiple points with promotions, and you're gonna come off better. We'll see you again. Thanks for joining us here in Award Travel 101. Have a great day.